Bibi, what time is it? It's cage cleaning time. So I just woke up and we got to clean some cages. So let's do it. Bibi, you want to clean some cages? With this many cages, we've got to clean cages every day. And not all the cages need cleaning. In fact, this cage I cleaned yesterday. I cleaned these guys out yesterday. But there are some cages that do need to be cleaned. So the first two that we're gonna do are these two. And we've got Nate's cage here. And we've got Gary and Gizmo's cage here. And then we can replenish their hay and their pellets. But first, let's get these dirty fleece out. Rise and shine, Nate. Before I put the dirty fleece in the basket, I've got to put away all the clean fleece in the closet. Medium-sized fleece pads go up here. The little ones go up there. That's not supposed to be there. That's my playpen fleece pad. Over here, I have some little Heidi fleece pads and special sizes. This is where the runners go for the racetracks and the ramps. And then this is where my large full-size fleeces go. It really helps me to layer my fleece so that I can wash the dirtiest smaller pieces in one load and I wash some of the cleaner bigger pieces in another load and it just keeps everything much more clean and organized. Morning Gary. You ready for a clean cage? What about you Gizmo? And we'll also clean Pipsqueak's racetrack and the pads underneath his little house. Supervising BB. You gotta do the same thing over here. Bippy. Bippy. Go. Oh no. <laughs> You're trapped. <laughs> Poor baby. Come here. Baby, it's Pippi. <whistles> Baby, who's this one? Who's this one? That's Pippi. You okay? Clean. 
nitrate's going to hang out over here while I clean this out. So I thought I'd make it interesting. Normally I just use water and a paper towel or I just make sure to keep my cage clean and I'm swapping the fleece every day or so. So I don't need to clean the chloroplast. But there are some stains so I thought I would try. Cavi came out with a cage cleaner and it doesn't have any smell. They say it's not, no nonsense. But it's scent free and it's all natural. They say it hasn't been tested on animals or anything like that, so it's friendly for piggies and for all animals, so I'm happy about that. So I'm gonna give it a try and see if it works better. This also works on the clear panel, so instead of using Windex or something like that that does have ammonia and weird harsh chemicals, you can use this for the clear panels, and I love the clear panels, so I'm just probably gonna save most of this for the clear panels and just try to make sure to keep my cage as clean as possible. But let's just see if it re removes some of these stains. All right, so this is the before shot. Now they do say that it has a little bit of lemon oil and I can smell it a little bit. They said it's not harsh for piggies, and I'm sure that they did their research. Oh, wow. This is just a regular sponge. Wow. That's actually crazy, because if any of you guys have ever, um, this is by no means new Coroplast. Actually smells awesome. And I think I will wipe it up with water also. So I'm going to go ahead and scrub the whole cage. They did say to wipe it off with a damp cloth and then let it dry. They want you not to have your pets in the area because even though it only has a, a lemon oil in there, it you don't want your piggies nearby when you're cleaning the cage. I'm actually pretty amazed at how well that works. Remember, I have a 10% off code and link. The code is all caps Scotty Deal, and there's a link in the description which will always apply the latest code. Doing that uh, through no extra cost to you really helps me and my rescue efforts and helps all the piggies. So I hope you'll consider doing that. And there's a 10% off store wide if you use that link. I put Nate in Pippi's cage while I'm cleaning his. Uh-oh. I guess he's about to discover Pipsqueak, which is not the best considering I just cleaned all this fleece, and now they're going to be all getting funky together. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, get funky in the dirty part of the cage. <laughs> Stay in here. I know these boys. <laughs> so I wouldn't expect to have to wrap my hand. This is why they can't live together. This is why you can't have friends. Neat. Now, of course, just like Gary, I won't ever give up on these boys. If they do prove they could live together, I could open the cages up. They could have all this space to run together. <laughs> Are you calming down in your old age, Nate? 
<laughs> so apprehensive. What happened? Did he bite your butt? Stay in here, please. Uh. Come on. You want to play too? Don't chew on that. Who's that? Nate, who's that? You got a pippy on your six. There's a pippy on your tail. <laughs> you want to play, I know. Okay, I better, I better clean, get this set up. Okay, so one cage down. As you can see, I like to layer it with the smaller fleece and the bigger fleece because it's just easier to wash them that way. I can generally let this one stay for a couple weeks and then I just swap these out every few days and it just makes it a lot easier to clean these. If one of them gets really stained, I can rinse it out before it goes in the laundry. And then I'm not washing really dirty smaller fleece with not as dirty large fleece. I have a whole video about this. If you check out my guinea pig care guide, the cage setup section, it's there's a whole strategy about how to use how to use fleece properly. Here you go, Nate. What do you think? You little jerk. <laughs> You're not even going to eat those pellets after you spill them. This cage was clean for literally 30 seconds before he spilled the bowl. Who taught you how to do that? Who taught you how to flip the bowl? Hmm? We already made that video, Nate. And then I just do the same process for this cage. But first. Coffee. <coughs> BB's gonna have his lunch. <coughs> Don't just eat the seeds, BB. Come on, eat some vegetables. Come on, eat some of that broccoli. BB. Come on, eat some broccoli. You little kid. So the cage is looking nice and clean. The only thing I got to do now is get this fleece in the laundry and then I can take a break. Oh yeah, you're having some ca cauliflower. BB, come on, eat your veggies.
Eat some of this red pepper. Come on. <laughs> Not my finger. Come on. Come on, you don't like it? BB. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to bug you. Come on, eat. Eat your lunch. You can't just eat seeds, yo. You <laughs> stubborn bird. He actually really does like broccoli, but... I guess only when there's... There you go. There you go. Broccoli! I make him granola by mixing quinoa, because it's sticky, in with his seeds and pellets and veggies. And then I let it dry in these clusters. And it's really, really good for him, really fun. And it's a nice compromise. So now I just gotta brush off some of this dirty fleece and get it in the laundry. Bibi's over there watching me. Hi, Bibi. Bibi. Hi, Bibi. I brought some of his lunch out here to the windowsill. <laughs> Don't make a mess. Lately, I've just been using this dustpan brush right here. Works really well. Um, it's nice that I'm just out here and I can brush this on the sand. This might not be an option for people who live in a, an apartment. If that's you, I would just recommend kiln dried pine is probably the easiest option. Well, I hope you enjoyed this cage cleaning video. A lot of people have been asking for it, so there you go. I'm gonna get back to this, and I've got an entire cage set up playlist here. It covers everything from cage building to what type of bedding to use, and it's gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of money, and I really hope that you'll dive into that playlist. It's gonna really help you out. So until next time, thanks for watching.